Hello and welcome to another workshop update. Um, as you can see I've got the mower now. It's a 24 inch cut. I thought it was a 30 but it still uh, dwarfs the Suffolk. Um, here's a seat. Sort of bolts on there. Um, the engine doesn't run at the moment because I think the points have been you know, corroded up. Because there's points on this engine. It's a Tecumseh engine. I think it's a 5 or 6 horsepower. Um, it looks to be in good condition because the clutch and seize, or the cable isn't. Neither is the throttle. So, yeah, not bad for a freebie. Um, also, I've got another little thing to show you. I've got a new engine. It's a Petter AVA1. Yeah, it's bloody heavy, too. Took three of us to lift it out the trailer today. Um, it was made in October 1954. It's a Series 2. So there's a cowlin. You, if you've got or seen an AVA before or a PH, you don't get cowlin. It looks like that. It looks slightly different. So this is one of the early ones, like we pass. If I get back a bit and shine the light, you can see it, it dwarfs the pass. So yeah. He's going to need a bit of work. He was used on a milking machine in a place called Lanson, which is a, a town near me on a farm. So, uh, yeah. Bought it for 40 quid. I don't think it runs at the moment, but I think it might need just a, the fuel lines cleaning out. It's um, 3 horsepower at 1,000 revs. You can see there's a nice little petter sign on top. I'll undo the rocket cover. You can see what sort of condition the rockers are. They're not too good. Well, I don't know that, but I'm just undo it. You see how much muck's in there. I would say they would need a bit of a clean. But yeah, I'll do that. So what I'm going to do for a minute is mount on some skids. It's going to probably have to stay in this shed until I can get a trolley big enough to carry it round because uh, I can't lift it round on my own. But yeah, it's quite a good little thing. There will be a video of this lawnmower working when I can get it to go. There is no grass box for it, but it looks a nice little thing. There's stale fuel in it too, but i got to um, clean it out and put some fresh petrol in. I'll probably clean the carburetor as well at the same time. But yeah, I'll probably put that one on skids tonight and see if I can clean the fuel lines out and see if I'm getting the run. If I'm getting the run, I'll make another video. So, uh, yeah. Also, I forgot to tell you that the Petare 1-1, um, selling to Crank Up Chris, because I got fed up with it. Uh, it was running right in the last video you may have seen. And then it just started playing up again, so I just, you know, fed up with it, so I sold it on. It's not gone yet, it's in the cow's house, but it should cover the, cover the cost of this one. So yeah, put that back on. I found out that this AVA one is only 100cc less than the PH one. It's 556cc, I think. Or 52, something like that. So it's a big engine. The Paz is only 300 and something, 350, something or other. So it dwarfs the Paz. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, there should be a video about the AVA or the mower soon. I'll take some pictures in a minute so you can see what it all looks like properly.